today the topic of discussion is in tree data structure we'll study how to delete node from avl tree fine so prior to this we have understand what is avl tree that is we have seen a video on avl tree introduction that is we have understood what is avl tree what is the use of avl tree what was wrong with bs tree why avl tree came to market what is the full form of avl tree what is balance factor we have covered all those topic in avl tree introduction then we have seen avl tree rotation then in avl tree rotation we have discussed four rotation we have discussed four rotation one is ll rotation one is rr rotation one is lr rotation and one is rl rotation so we have deeply discussed on these four rotation and we have tried to explain you every rotation very clearly and after that we have seen avl tree insertion then we have seen a question of insert insertion where we have inserted many nodes and i have tried my level best to explain you how insertion is taking place now the final part of avl tree is avl tree deletion now the remaining part is avl tree deletion so you have to understand how to delete a node from avl tree let's start with avl tree deletion so here you have a tree and you your job is to delete from avl tree these elements so let's start with deletion okay now deletion is again is again uh, you have to keep some points in you know some points in your mind if you're deleting a node delete one node at a time fine while deleting a node now check that balance factor of a tree is not disturbed suppose you have deleted any node just make it sure a deletion may lead to violation of avl tree uh, factor balance factor so in that case when you are deleting a node always check that after deletion is balance factor disturbed if the balance factor is disturbed then you have to rotate it accordingly which we have discussed in insertion so let's start with uh, keeping the same points in mind let's start with you know deleting these elements so first of all we have what nine you have to delete nine so you know deletion has three cases so first case is what in deletion first case is what you have to delete a note which has no child delete a note delete note having no child having no child second case delete note having one child and third case is what delete note having to child so all these point you have to remember you know so i request you if you don't know kindly watch the video of bst deletion bst deletion otherwise i'll explain you in this part but you have to keep all these things in your mind because deletion do have certain conditions so i'll, I'll explain you need not to worry about i'll explain you in this video also we have to delete nine let's see where is the nine here we have a nine you have to search nine actually so what is nine you you can clearly search nine which is smaller than 15 you will come here nine is smaller than 12 you will come here nine is greater than eight you will come here so i'm directly jumping to nine because now you are you are quite master of you know bsc and all so let's delete nine 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 is a node which is leaf node line nine is a leaf node and you have to delete it so in leaf if you want to delete a leaf node that is very easy delete it so if you delete a leaf node so first of all kind first of all your job is to check that is this tree is this tree a avl tree before deletion first check it that is this tree a avl tree so let me use a different color so first of all check it so uh, what will be the balance factor of 15 0 1 2 3 if you go here if you go here anywhere you go you have three and anywhere you go here you have a length 3 0 1 2 and 3 then 3 minus 3 is what 3 minus 3 is 0 because you know the balance factor is left minus right then i'm i'll directly write 0 again if you see here you have 2 here you have 2 2 minus 2 is 0 if you see here 0 if you see 0 0 but here you have minus 1 because left you don't have anything right you have 1 0 minus 1 will give you minus 1 here you will have a plus 1 if you see here you have a 0 if you see here you have a 0 because here you have 2 length here you have 2 length and then 2 minus 2 will be 0 fine here you have 0 1 minus 1 0 here is 0 here is 0 in every node if you see every node of this tree is either having balance factor what is avl tree uh, avl tree is a tree whose balance factor is either uh, the balance factor of every node is either 0 1 or minus 1 so if i see this tree then in this tree balance factor of every node is either 0 1 and minus 1 so just currently this with, without deletion this tree is a avl tree so let me delete now so if i have to delete 9 so what i'll do so if i have to delete nine what i'll do let take a black pen no not i'll not take a black pen i'll take a some somewhat different pencil or yellow pen so if i have to delete what nine if i have to delete nine what i'll do delete it because nine is a node having no child nine is a leaf node so delete it so if i delete 
nine. What changes will take place? Now calculate the balance factor. So the balance factor of this note, the balance factor of uh, uh, fifteen will remain unchanged. Why? Again, the left part has length three because zero one. Two, three, zero, one, two, three. So this will become zero. Again, the twelve balance factor will remain zero. Uh, there will be no change. But if you see the balance factor of eight, it will become what plus one. From zero, it will become plus one. Why plus one? Because nine is not there. So after deletion of nine, no changes is taking place. Still a tree is what? Still a tree is what? Still a tree is what? Avial tree. So still, if a tree is still avial tree, then we don't have any issue. Fine. So now again make a tree without nine. So I'm again making a tree. This is fifteen. Uh, this is twelve. Let me make it again. Uh, this is eight. I'll make it very fast. This is five. Fine. And twelve. Uh, you have a thirteen. Fine. Then you have fourteen. Then in right of then you have twenty. Then you have. 18 then you have a 17 after 20 you have 54 and then in left you have 21 and in right you have 61 fine so now this is your tree after deletion of 9 so let's change the color now and take our original color now after deletion you have seen the tree is still balanced now delete what delete 8 when you delete 8 what will happen Eight is a node having one child. So who will take care of eight child? Because eight is going from this world. Who will take care of my child? And you know that if eight is going and eight is having only one child, then parent of eight, which is twelve, will take care. So what will happen? Five will come from this place to this place. So five will come here and eight will go. Eight will go. So after deletion, now again check the balance factor. So if you check the balance factor of fifteen, so zero, one, two, three. Maximum you go three here. Maximum you go three here. So it remained zero. Here it remained zero. It remained plus one. It will remain something like that. No changes will take in right side. Okay. But if you see left part, here if you see this is one and this is two. This will become minus one. This will become zero. This will become minus one. Ah, uh, yes. And this will become minus one, fine, and this will become zero. Still, after deletion of eight, also this tree is what balanced. After deletion of eight, also this tree is balanced. So finally, after deletion eight, now my tree is again abl. Now delete twelve. Now your job is to delete twelve. If you see twelve, twelve is a node having two child. Fine. So twelve is a node having two child means when you delete a node having two child, then it's is. Then its position is taken by its in order successor. Then its position is taken by its in order successor. Then what is in order successor means? If twelve have to go, who will come here? So who will go? So there are two things. If a node which is to be deleted is going having two child, then this place is taken by either its in order successor or either its in order predecessor. So if I say now, if I say if uh, if I consider this tree, if I consider this tree, and if I have to delete twelve, then who will take the position of twelve? So what is in order successor and what is in order predecessor? First calculate in order. So I have told you if you have seen my video of you know uh, video of traversal, then I told you the very good method. So uh, you will start from here. 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 The first node which is touching is five. The second node which is touching is eight. What is in middle part? Eight. Because of that, I am using the middle uh, uh, stick. Then we have nine, nine. Then you have twelve, twelve. Then you have thirteen, thirteen. Then you have. Then you come here fourteen. Then you have fourteen. And similarly, you have different elements. So I'll not go further. I'll, I'll simply. Stop here because my job is to see twelve. So now, what I was trying to tell you, if twelve, we need to delete a twelve. If twelve will go, who will take the position of twelve? Either nine, its in order predecessor, or thirteen. So what I told you, if twelve has to go, then deletion says who will take the position of twelve? Either nine, which is in order predecessor. 
and either 13 which is in order successor fine now you will be confused that will i have to calculate every time in order successor and predecessor so in order to calculate in order successor and predecessor i am giving you a very very good hint i am giving you a very very good hint and you will love to know see those hint net see if a node you have to delete has two child then select the left part of that tree select the right part of that tree select means just watch if you want if you want predecessor if you want predecessor then in left part which is the greatest element will be the will be the in order predecessor so out of these three element which is the greatest nine and you can see that nine is the nine is the predecessor and in right if you want successor then the successor is the smallest element in right subtree so the smallest element in right subtree is 13 out of 13 and 14 and you can see that 13 is what is 13 13 is the what 13 is the uh, successor of 12 so suppose now i'm giving you a, a question that if you want uh, fast if you want successor and predecessor of 15 so left part of 15 is this so this the the greatest element here is what 14 so which will take position of 15 14 and the smallest part of uh, this right side is smallest node of this is 17 so 17 will take place so you if you calculate calculate you will find 14 and 17 will be predecessor and successor fine okay so i've tried my level best to explain you what is predecessor and successor fine now since my job is to delete 12 my job is to delete 12 so if 12 is going who will take the position either predecessor or successor so predecessor in left part you have only one element which is if one element this is only greatest so suppose i am replacing this with i am replacing this with 5 so if 5 is coming here fine so so this 5 is deleting now from this place so if 5 came here is this tree an avl after deletion now again calculate the balance factor so if you calculate the balance factor 15 remains 0 y 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 if you calculate balance factor of 5 left you have 0 but right you have 0 1 2 so the balance factor has now become what minus 2 and this minus 1 and this 0 so after deletion of 12 you have a node which is not following the condition of avl because it's having a balance factor other than 0 1 and minus 1 so now you have to balance a tree and which rotation it is which rotation will take place the ins the uh, the rotation is something like this which is what is this right and right this is right right rotation so what is right right rotation anti clockwise rotation so what you have to do the node which having balance factor other than 1 minus 1 and 0 you just you know uh, just push that node from its neck so if you have put this uh, you know push this node node from its neck what will happen 15 will be like that only there will be no change in 15 but what will happen 13 will come up 5 will come here fine and then you will have a 14 and then and uh, then then you have here it will everything will remain same 20 and then uh, you have a 18 and then you have a 17 and then you have 54 and then you have 21 and then you have 61 so this is what after rotation you get this is this a avl now again calculate the balance factor 0 1 2 3 and 0 1 2 so 2 minus 3 will be minus 1 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 and this is 0 this is uh plus one this is zero this is zero this is zero and this is zero yes after doing rotation which rotation rr rotation you have found a tree that which is balanced now so you have deleted three nodes and your tree has become something like that now your job is to delete 15 so if you delete 15 so again what is 15 15 is a node having two child 15 is a node having two child so i told you if 15 is going then which which node will take its position either its predecessor or its successor so from its here from this part you will get predecessor from this part you will get successor so let's change again with predecessor so what is predecessor from left part this is 17 from left part see the high see the largest node which is largest node 14 so what will happen 14 will come here so 14 will come here and this 14 will go from this place 
again now calculate the balance factor again calculate the balance factor so balance factor this will remain minus one now this will became plus one and this will be zero so after deletion of 15 uh, we have just deleted and followed the concept of deletion that is deleting a node having two child which element will come and which element will take position of 15 we have done this but overall tree remained balanced overall tree remained balanced that is still it's after deletion of 15 still this tree is a evil tree now your job is to delete 18 so where you have 18 here you have 18 now what 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 will be the changes i told you 18 is a node having only one child so who will take care of 18 child 17 hits grandfather tw grandparent 20 so what will happen 17 will come here and this 7 18 will go because i have deleted 18 18 we have deleted 17 will come so again check the balance factor so here you have 0 1 2 and here you have 0 1 2 3 maximum this will be minus 1 but if you check here now you have 0 1 2 but you have either here only 1 so this will be what minus 1 this will be 0 and this will be 0 and 0 so after deletion of 18 the final tree which you are getting is this so this is the final avl tree which you are getting after deletion of above elements what are above element above element are 9 8 12 15 and 18 so overall i'll try to explain you i'm again trying to tell you is that always keep in mind when you are deleting always keep three things in mind you are deleting a node having no child you are deleting a node having one child you are deleting a node having two child so you have to follow the concept then if you are deleting a node delete a node and then see the balance factor if the balance factor is in 0 1 and minus 1 everything is fine if balance factor is other than these then you have to balance it or you can balance by rotating the tree